Hey guys, Justin here with my 2021 Pan America Special. This is the Warthog bike. Today I want to talk about something really important on an adventure bike, and that's your skid plate. This bike comes with what they call a crash plate. It's really small, it's very thin, and it doesn't really offer a whole lot of protection to the bottom of this motorcycle. When you're going off-road, there's all kinds of big rocks and whatnot on trails that could potentially damage the bottom of your motorcycle. And in this motorcycle, that's kind of a big deal because this motorcycle doesn't exactly have a frame. The frame is the motor itself, which is an extremely important component, obviously, of a motorcycle. So you wanna do what you can to really protect that. The skid plate that I chose to put on this bike is the Black Dog Cycle Works. And in my opinion, it is truly the best one on the market. Yeah, there are some others out there, but one thing that really makes this one unique is that number one, it is actually made in America. And number two, this one does not mount to the engine at all. And why is that important? Well, if you hit something hard enough, you could potentially actually break the motor, and now you're looking at some really expensive repairs. The way that he got around not having to mount it to the motor is that he actually created a bracket that goes beneath the center stand or between the center stand, and that's and mounts directly to the rest of the frame. And it also has a mounting point in the front of the bike, which is not part of the motor and part of the frame. So it offers quite a bit of protection. Again, I think this is one of the best on the market. Let's get into a couple of the tools that you're gonna need before you get started. First of all, you're gonna need either a T40 wrench or socket. You're also gonna need a six millimeter Allen key. I highly suggest getting one with the ball end socket. It makes a big difference because when you get under there and you're trying to get those last couple screws out of the center stand, it's really hard. I didn't have that. And I think it really would have made a big difference in the installation. Another thing you're gonna need is a five millimeter Allen. And last, but definitely not least, get yourself a spring puller because let me tell you, those springs on this thing are pretty tough. And you might actually wanna have a friend help you try to get those things on and off. So when you go to install this, just keep that in mind. Let's get into the install now. First step is you're going to need to remove the stock skid plate, AKA the splash guard. Using a T40 wrench or socket, remove the stock skid plate. Install U-nuts from the front side of rear bracket with the threads facing upward. Next, we're gonna have to remove the center stand. Remove springs from center stand, one spring at a time from the spring bracket on the center stand. We suggest using a spring puller to do this, otherwise you can use the provided zip ties and a screwdriver. Using a six millimeter Allen wrench or socket a long ball and six millimeter socket is handy here. Remove the four bolts, securing the center stand framework to the bottom of the foot peg mount. The stock M8 by 22 socket head will be reused. Apply thread locker before reinstalling. Next, we'll install the black dog rear bracket. Install the rear bracket with the long side of the rear bracket on the clutch lever side of the bike. The rear bracket mounts between the center stand framework and the bottom of the foot pegs mount. Snug all bolts then torque to 25 foot pounds. Reinstall the center stand springs. Using the provided M825 flathead bolts, loosely mount the front of the skid plate to the stock mounting location first. Then pivot the rear into place. A small Allen wrench or screwdriver can be used to align the U-nuts of the rear bracket if needed. Snug all your mounting bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Make sure you check all the bolts periodically. And that's it. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And make sure to like and subscribe because we're gonna have a ton more stuff, especially related to the Pan America S.